Hi, welcome to 24 7 Fitness Virtual Personal Trainer in Kidderminster. My name's Jess, I'm going to be your personal trainer today, so if you're ready for your workout, let's go. For our warm up today, we're going to be using the row machine. The row machine is great for a warm up, it uses your legs, your upper body, and also gets your heart nice and pumped as well. First thing, adjust the lever for a little bit of resistance. You can feel it when you're pulling. Be careful as you sit down, the seat freely moves. When placing your feet into the foot straps, we need to make sure the foot strap is on the base of your toe. So adjust this, lift it up, and put it in the correct holes. Make sure you do this on both sides as well. Feet go in. And tighten them up as well. To switch the machine on, press menu. And then from there, just row. Pick up the bar, pull the lever in. Make sure you keep a straight back as you pull it in and then back out, lead in. We're gonna be doing this warm up for five minutes. So in our first exercise for this core workout, we're gonna be using the ab crunch exercise. Now this exercise mainly focuses on the top of your abdominals. You'll feel it in the lower part slightly as well. The equipment you'll need for this today is only the mat and your body. So what you gotta do, make sure you lay down. Feet are flat onto the floor. Bring your arms across your chest and keep looking to the ceiling as you lift your body up. Raise your shoulder blades up off the floor, breathe out and breathe in as you come back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's move on to the second set. Feet flat on the floor, lay down flat, arms across your chest, lift up. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Lay down flat onto the floor, feet as well, arms across your chest, lift up as high as you can now, and back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. The next exercise we'll be doing is the reverse crunch. Now what this is targeting on is the lower part of your abs as well. To do this exercise, make sure your hands are in a, a triangle position on the small of your back right here. Then lay down flat, make sure shoulder blades are down, head down, feet together and knees together. Bring the knees into your chest, then all the way back out straight, not letting your feet touch the floor. One, two, Three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's move on to our second set. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Hands underneath the small of your back, lay down, bring the knees in and all the way out. One. Two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. The next exercise we'll be doing in this workout is called the plank. Now the plank works on the whole of your core. You will even feel it in your lower back slightly as well. To set up this exercise, what we need to do is make sure elbows are underneath shoulders first. Feet are up onto tiptoes, then raise your body up, keeping that back nice and straight, not dropping your hips. And you're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. First set done, let's move on to our second set. Elbows underneath your shoulders, feet onto tiptoes, hold that back nice and straight for 30 seconds. Don't hold your breath. Second set done, let's move on to our third set. Elbows underneath shoulders, Feet onto the tiptoes, 
and hold that body for 30 seconds. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. The next exercise we'll be doing is ankle touches. Now what this works on is the side of your core, so mainly your obliques. To do this, make sure feet are on the floor, lay down flat, arms are to the side of your body, lifting your shoulders and your head up. Screw round, touch your ankle, and then to the other side as well. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's move on to the second set. Lay down flat, feet on the floor, hands by your side. Touch the ankle, one, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Lay down flat, lift the body up, touch the ankle, one, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. The next exercise we'll be doing in this workout is called the abdominal bicycles. Now this, you'll be working on pretty much the whole of your core, slightly your lower back as well. For this, just lay down flat, make sure hands come up to the knee, your temples, and you can bring one knee up and one leg straight. Bring your opposite elbow to knee, and then repeat, the other side. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's move on to our second set. Lay down flat, hands up, opposite elbow to opposite knee. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. The next exercise we'll be doing in this workout is what we call the side plank. The side plank works on the side of your body so your obliques in your core. To do this, make sure one hand arm is on the floor, elbow is underneath your shoulder, and one foot on top of the other. Raise your hips up, and then bring your hand up straight as well. Make sure you keep that body straight and hold for 30 seconds each side. First set done, let's move on to the second set. Elbow underneath your shoulder, one foot on top of the other, and lift that hip up. Hold for 30 seconds. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Again, elbow underneath your shoulder, lift that body up, hold for 30 seconds each side. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. This exercise is called the back extension. Now what this does is work on the lower part of your back. It's important for your core. The way to do this exercise is lay down flat on your front. So flat onto the mat, and then make sure hands are up by your head. Lift up slightly and then all the way back down again. So it's just a small movement. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's move on to our second set. Lay down flat onto the mat. Hands come up, lift the body. One, two, making sure you breathe out, three, now give me 10 good reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Lay down again, hands come up and lift. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to our next exercise. The last exercise we have in this core workout is called the bridge pulses. Okay, so what this is working on is your glutes, but also you'll feel it in your lower back as well. Now to set up this exercise, lay down flat first, 
Make sure feet are just outside of your shoulder width apart. Anchor your body down, so arms onto the floor, keep the head down and your shoulder blades down. Then lift your hips up to the ceiling as far as you can, then slowly back down to the floor. And then back up. One. Two. Three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's move on to our second set. Set position, so feet shoulder width apart, head down, anchor the body, lift the hips up, and then gently back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Get into position. Anchor the body down, lift the hips up, and then back down again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final exercise done, great work guys. Let's move on to our cool down. For the cool down, we're gonna be using the bike. So to set the bike up, make sure Adjust the seat so it's middle of your hip pipe. Place one foot into the pedals, swing the leg round, and bring your foot in. Start pedaling forward, and this will switch on the machine. Press the quick start button, then move it up to level two, and then start pedaling forward. You'll be doing this for five minutes. Time to do our stretches, shoulders back and relaxed. Abs pull tight, pull the chin to the chest, feel the neck stretch. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. That's it, keep it going. Then from there, arms extended forward, feel that back stretch. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. That's it, feel that stretch in the top of the back. Good. Then from there, reach up, feel that stretch, really reach up. Feel that in the sides, keep it going. That's good, good, excellent. Then from there, bring it down. Hands go behind your back, extend forward. Feel that chest stretch, elbows pull together. Feel that stretch, good, 10 seconds. And then from there, arm comes over forward. Make sure you don't pull on your elbow. Feel that stretch, good. Again, hold for 10 seconds. Excellent, arm comes underneath. Other side, don't pull on your elbow. Feel that stretch. Good, holding for 10 seconds. Excellent. Shoulder roll. Excellent, good, and again. Good, one more go. Perfect. Take a hold of the foot, put it through. Knees together, push that hip forward and feel that stretch. Excellent, bring that down, swap it over, other side. Excellent, knees together, push that hip forward and feel that stretch through. Excellent, bring that down. Now step forward, bring that down, hands onto the opposite thigh and feel that stretch. Hold it for 10 seconds. Excellent. Come back up, swap it over, other side, hands onto the opposite knee, and again, hold that stretch for 10 seconds. Well done, we're finished with your workout today. My name is Jess, if you have any questions at all, please come and grab one of the team in 24 seven fitness, Kidderminster. Thank you for using virtual personal trainer. Have a great day.